So with the new equipment that we put into this building that's higher efficiency, we're going to be seeing gas savings anywhere between 25 to 30 percent for the new equipment and electricity savings of up to 35 percent uh, depending on the time of the season. This you see here is a new high efficiency boiler that we installed. It uses condensing technology which is 99 percent efficient. It's far more efficient than the atmospheric boilers that you see in a lot of the older buildings and over time the building is going to see around 20 to 30 percent energy savings from this new unit. So this is a new makeup air unit that we installed just this year. It's a high efficiency unit with a variable speed control. It's far more efficient than the constant volume unit. And this you see here is a package unit as well with a cooling section on top. Far more efficient than a separately packaged unit with a remote condenser. And this unit here we can expect to last a long time and generate the energy savings for the building that exceed the cost of the actual project. This is another makeup air unit that you see here. We're up on the roof and we have the expertise here to crane up a lot of big pieces of heavy equipment on time and on budget. What you see uh, to uh, my left here is a new makeup air unit and what you see behind me is a brand new cooling tower that we're able to crane up here. Inside as well in the mechanical room is a new chiller and it's the biggest and heaviest piece of equipment that uh, you'll see up on the roof. What you see here is installation of new variable speed booster pump system. The system here doesn't use mechanical valves. So in addition to electricity savings for this building, it's going to see far lower operational costs as well due to the fact that these new pumps no longer need mechanical valves to service. What we see here is a variable speed cooling tower. It's attached to a magnetic bearing chiller which is one of the highest efficiency chillers on the market. It uses oil-free technology, which means over the course of the chiller life, the building is going to see significant electricity and operational savings from this new unit.